number of ancient Egyptian treasures on display at Cairo's massive Antiquities Museum will astound you. As you explore the exhibits, the musty scent of age and the dim lighting transport you back in time. This museum is the place to go for anyone interested in this ancient culture. From the famous treasures discovered at Tutankhamun's tomb to the pharaohic statues and well-preserved mummies. Among all the grandeur and splendor, one odd artifact is easy to overlook. Sabu's Disc The Sabu Disc, also known as the Trilob Disc at times, is an ancient Egyptian artifact that dates back to approximately 5,000 years ago, around the same time as the famous Narmer Palette during the First Dynasty. In comparison, the famous artifacts from King Tutankhamun's tomb date from Egypt's 18th dynasty, which is roughly 1,600 years younger. The disc is round and has a diameter of about 610 millimeters, or 24 inches, and a height of about 104 millimeters, or 4 inches. It was discovered in 1936 by Mr. Walter Brian Emery, a well-known British Egyptologist, during his excavations of the Saqqara burial grounds one of ancient Egypt's oldest and largest necropolises. The Prince Sabu Mastaba, or tomb, was discovered in the northern part of Saqqara, on the very edge of the plateau. You can't help but notice the intricate carvings on the disc's surface as you examine it. The disc has three thinly carved curving lobes that are spaced about 120 degrees apart around the bull's edge, and it has a round bottom. Three holes of two different shapes separate these lobes from the rim. The disc is made of schist, a hard and brittle mineral that makes carving such fine details difficult. The cool surface of the schist under your fingers adds to the object's mystery. A thin tube about 10 centimeters across runs through the center of the disc. The object is made of metasal stone which is also known as schist in other parts of the world. Because this rock is porous and fragile, carving in such fine detail is very difficult. The smoothness of the central tube contrasts with the roughness of the schist, contributing to the artifact's enigma. Prince Sabu's tomb was built around 3000 BC, making the disc at least 5,000 years old. People believe that tools used back then were made of stone and copper, making fine craftsmanship extremely difficult, if not impossible, especially on skiss stone, which is very brittle. In the tomb of a First Dynasty noble, the disc of Sabu appears out of place. As you stand there staring at it, you can feel the weight of history that's contained within it. As you consider the disc's possible uses, you can't help but be impressed by the ancient Egyptians and their ability to observe the world around them and devise logical and clever solutions to their time's problems. Was it a three-sectioned offering plate? Maybe an incense burner? Could it have been an oil lamp? Could it be something even stranger, like an ancient steam turbine impeller or a water pump rotor? The possibilities of what it is are limitless, and the disc remains a complete mystery. These are Interesting Things with J.C.